everyone in this video we are going to talk about how can you integrate razor pay payment gateway with the bubble so let's start i have earlier video of integrating razor pay payment gateway without using any plugin and mostly based on the razor pay api but i got a lot of feedback from you guys and uh, you are facing a lot of problem while integrating this api and following the tutorial then i thought why don't we package all the api into the plugin and give you the simple solution so that's what i have done it i have launched the plugin and that you can get it for free and then uh, you simply integrate the razor pay payment gateway into bubble in this video we are going to learn how can you check out one time product and also if you have any feedback for plugin do provide that also okay the first thing is we going to install the plugin so go to the plugin click on this add plugin page and search for razor pay come to third one this is the third one and do check by the team visual this is our plugin to simply install it and you will see it will ask you for the username password okay now go to the razor pay and i already inside the razor pay but you need to uh, create an account and verify your account once you've done that come to this api key and plugin thing just choose okay i am just going on the simply say none of the ever okay this is my text id and this is my text secret basically a password just copy paste that that's it you can download also for future reference but we don't need it so we are not doing it and yeah that's it now come back to the plugin thing the first thing is we are going to create one more page here okay the first thing we are going to do is simply uh, check out the one time product so you are building some uh, product in your app and you want to check some e-commerce product or you want to check out some uh, fixed pricing for example 20 one time product or 20 dollar 30 dollar or 500 rupees so these are the one time product where you don't need to you don't want to recurring pricing so that is pretty simple so what we are going to do we are going to take a one input input box and that will put an amount that you want to check out for so we will simply keep it as a number integer and we will just create one more button that will basically check out so we will name it check out one time product perfect now we will just go to okay perfect so whenever i click on it just click on it and add workflow and here if you go into, into the plugin and choose our razor pay so it offer you multiple uh, actions and one data calls so we for the one time for checking out one time product we need to use this razor pay create checkout link option so what we simply choose the action uh, checkout uh, payment link checkout create payment link here the first thing is amount so the amount that you want to check out for since we are asking for the user so we are going to use that input a value whatever the user input and we say input a value check this is the number and don't forget even if you are passing character don't forget to convert into the number otherwise it will be error okay currency is inr yeah it's razor pay uh, support for inr for indian and we are don't want to accept the parcel this is expired why so basically it basically generate the this action generate the payment link and in this expire y field we need to define when this link will be expired so what we will do simply say input dynamic player and say current time and add 30 like we are just adding a expiration date of the 30 minutes later till the 30 30 this link that is generated is available and not expired till 30 minutes from now on and this is 30 minute and one more thing we need to use the approach time basically time in the unix so we need to extract the unix time so we say extract 
unix time and now we will need to divide it by the 1000 because that unix time come into the 13 digit number but reserve pay required only 10 starting 10 digit number so we say simply uh, extract and form it as number decimal is equal to zero and simple yeah that's the only thing we need to reference id if you want to put any reference id for that payment link you can do and let's do with the okay we will say arbitrary tax and say tft and generate a unique number calculate formula we will say generate random string of 11 digit it will consider the number not capitalize number not a spacer perfect description what is this payment for so let's say this is the the test payment One more thing I just wanted to remind you in the plugin here we are passing the theft details but in order to use the production label uh, use it in the production you need to change it to the live mode and then get that API key and username key and password that we got it and pass here in the username password thing username dev and the password dev will consist from your dev credential. Since we are just testing out, that's why I just put a test word, test details here. Now coming here, the customer name and I'm just fixing. You can pass the dynamic also. Email is simply unquote to it. My test one at the test.com. If you want to notify your customer about by the SMS, you want to make it yes. If you want to notify the user with the email after making payment simply say yes and this and this is a callback url callback url is important because this is the url where razor pay redirected you to once the payment is successful so we will create one successful success page okay so we already have one page payment successful we will uh, take its url let's copy that url and pass it here perfect so whenever any payment is successful, Razor Pay redirect you to this URL. Perfect. Yeah. Now this Excel will return you the one payment link URL. We need to open it so that user can make a add their credit card or details. So what we say, you open external website. Definition will be if I have one URL. Perfect. Now, if you simply run it, preview it. Okay, just making it in the center okay so you need to remember one more thing when you write amount like 500 it means 5 rupees because uh, razor pay take amount into uh, in the pesa not in rupees so 500 is not 500 rupees it's 500 pesa so that equivalent to 500 rupees so we need to add to more zero and that will become a 500 rupees and when we simply say check out one time product it redirected to us to our uh, test payment and here we will say simply say let's suppose let me just put my number it will be blurred for obvious reason okay you can scan it and pay and what we are choosing it uh, UPI and UPI ID we will say success equal to razor pay and say pay now Perfect. Payment is successful. Now it will redirect it to, to our redirect callback URL and done. It redirected to our this our page. So you see, this is our page. So this is what we got returned from the uh, razor pay. So if you see in detail, just, I just copy that and paste it here. If you see, we are getting a lot of information like razor pay payment ID, razor pay payment link ID, reference ID that you have passed that is RVT data and the status of the payment link that is paid, not paid, what is and the payment is the signature. But now we need to verify it because anyone can create this kind of URL and pass into your app and you won't able to make the difference between whether this actual payment or not. 
to overcome that and to verify the payment link what we need to do is in the plugin if you go there is already one action called verify payment link we have to use it how okay on your payment success page what we are going to do when page is loaded we are saying get data from url and take the parameter razor pay payment link id check it is not empty and again get parameter from the url status payment status is paid perfect and then we call the razor pay action verify a payment link again we pass the payment link id so we will say get data from the page url say link id and so the toast if it is successful if we are getting a response from the verify payment link that is that means it's a valid payment link so we say payment link valid payment link you can simply say result of one order id is not empty that means it's a valid payment link how we will again going to uh, take a payment and then it will show the toast if it is a valid payment again we are going to check out for 500 rupees check out one time product run it say my number upi we will say success at the rate razor pay and it will redirect in 4 5 3 2 second okay we got a toast that means it's a valid payment link perfect now we, you need to take care one more thing there is a chance that user can refresh this page and you will make a one more entry and you will say okay user purchased the two order but in actual user have only purchased only one product so what you can simply do after verifying store all the information into all the order id payment link and everything into a db in your you can create an order table in your db so let's suppose you create a one order something like that and not this detail but simply say order and you will store order id say tax and also the payment link id say is a tax and here create a new thing say order say result of one order id and also the payment id will be get data from the payment id only when do search for order you can add other detail i'm just adding a bare minimum records same order id copy order id and okay, payment id is equal to count is less than equal to one sorry less than not equal to less than equal to one so that means even user is refreshing that page multiple times you will only add it only the fourth time only one time so it will not add a multiple record for the same order and also even when user try to uh, become a too smart and adding a uh, he just want to try okay I, with the same payment id he can purchase two or three of your product he can't do that so that's it for this video that's how you can simply set up a one time checkout and in the next video we are going to learn how can you set up a recurring product using a razor pay that's it for this video thanks a lot bye bye